Hey, what's going on? It's V from V Love and Crystals and V Love and Tarot. Today's topic is on pregnancy. Is there pregnancy in the horizon, on the horizon for you? Pile one, you have spiritual queen. Pile two, you have the winter's embrace oracle. Pile, th pile three, you have the pink power oracle. Pile four, you have the teddy bear wisdom oracle. Pile five, you have sweet love oracle. And pile six, you have the hot fudge love oracle. So timestamps are always below. I'll see you over in your piles. We have a lot of pinks, we have a lot of blues. Um, we have a little bit in between energy, pink and the blues. I'm gonna shuffle those for you as well. So I'll see you over in the timestamps. The, they're always linked below and pinned in the description box as well. And thank you for joining me. Please do consider subscribing. And I wish you luck if you're looking to conceive this year or next year, anytime soon. All right, I'll see you over in the piles. Pile one, you're first. Pile number one, hope you're doing well. Let's move these back a little bit. Let me know where you are on your conception journey, your journey to conceiving a child. Let me know, I would love, love, love to hear from you. Let's see, pile number one. Is there pregnancy on the horizon for you? Pile number one. Pile number one, is there pregnancy on the horizon for you? Pile number one. You have trust. Forgiveness, yes, power, power and yes. Alright, so this is telling me that it's on the horizon. There's a lot of work that you need to do. In the meantime, you need to have a little faith that it's going to work out. Whatever that you're doing right now, if you're uh, trying really badly every single day you're trying, you're putting a lot of effort into it, if you're seeking help, if you're doing research, if you're trying to get, you know, get your body, your minds, your finances right, it's saying keep on doing what you're doing. Time is of the essence here. It's going to happen in due time, my friends. Forgiveness, you, this can say, you know, don't be so hard on yourself. There's a reason why it's, there's a little bit of a delay here. Things are working behind the scenes. You have the power to make this happen. Yes, sister, yes. Things are coming together, by the way. DNA ingredients are coming together. Here's some imp imp empowering words here. Pile number one for pregnancy. You have, I can navigate the unexpected if need be. So this is saying it's just a matter of time. It's unexpected. It might happen unexpectedly. Maybe when you decide to take a break. Maybe when you decide, you know what? I'm going to um, hold off until next year. Or, you know what? I'm going to try harder. And you try and you try and try and you wait. And then you realize something is happening here. Something is coming through. Just give, give it more time, my friend. Birth is unpredictable. There is no ma manual on how it will unfold or how conception will unfold. Instead, you can trust. That's what I'm saying. Trust in the process. Trust and embrace each moment. If something comes up and you need to make a decision, you will have the wisdom to do so. If the need for an intervention arises, you will be able to handle that too. You've got this. See, it's just a matter of time, friend. All right? Let me see what other angel messages want to come through, courtesy of my angel messages oracle. What message do you need to hear from your angels to give you encouragement on baby making? This is my um, angel hearts oracle for sale in my Etsy and eBay shops. Truth! So you have trust, trust, and now you have truth. Your angels are guiding you on the path to self-discovery. Keep searching and you will find clarity in the answers you seek. So it's saying to keep on going. Don't give up. Don't give up because if you give up, you're going you're gonna to feel like you're going back to square one. You're going to feel like you have to start all over again if you give up. So it's saying take a little break, but don't give up. Take a little break. You don't pace yourself. Go for two months, a month, two months, three months, and then get right back in it. Because you, <clears throat> you need to maintain, sustain your power. So if you're feeling depleted, take a rest and come back stronger. Let's see. What messages from your angels want to come through? Pile number one. Whom do you enjoy being with? In the meantime, connect with your love, loved ones. Love and value yourself. What makes you happy? 
What makes you feel pleased? What makes you feel at peace here? Okay, friends, don't forget your, your end goal is near. You just have to pace yourself and be patient. That's what I have for you, pile number one. I wish you well. I wish you luck. And let me know how it turns out for you when it happens for you. It's, it's not the if, it's the when for you. Okay, friend? All right, if you want to check out another pile, I'm going to do the same method for another pile using other cards. I would love to see you over there. All right, let's head on to pile number two. All right, what's up, pile number two? Thanks for your awesome energy. Let's see what's going on for you. You have the Winter's Embrace Oracle. This is from my shop. It's uh, on Etsy and eBay, and I also sell them via Cash Shop and PayPal. Inbox me on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook for more information. All right, pile number two. Thank you so much for your awesome energy. Is there pregnancy on the horizon for you, pile number two? Pregnancy on the horizon for you, pile number two. Pile number two. Pile number two, is there pregnancy on the horizon? Is there pregnancy on the horizon for you, pile number two? All right. You have eternity, loneliness, essentials, and privacy. So I don't do reversals with this deck. It, it, does, it does come with a PDF guide, so you can better bond with the keywords and um, help you uh, answer questions for yourself, journal prompts, if you're interested. This says you've been trying for the longest. It feels like eternity since you've been trying and trying and trying. Or look forward to it taking a little longer than what you anticipate. It's going to feel lonely. It's going to feel exhausting. But look, you have everything you need in order to make this happen. You just need a little bit of TLC, a little bit of privacy, a little bit of one-on-one -on -one with your partner. But it's going to happen. And I'm sorry, so, so sorry that it's taking much longer. So, so sorry that it feels like it's a, a far, far, far pursuit. Like it seems like it's far away. I'm so sorry, but you're not alone. It says loneliness. You're not alone. You have everything you need or you're going to get what you need to make this happen. It could say if you're feeling lonely, ask for assistance. Ask for help from a doctor, fertility specialist. Ask for, ask for help from other people who have been struggling. Reach out to people on, in a forum. Reach out to people who have been there, done that, when it comes to trying to conceive. There's so many tools at your fingertips, essentials at your fingertips. Don't be afraid to ask for help. And if it, it is saying lonely, I have nobody to make a baby with. There's surrogacy, there's adoption, there's so many different options, friends. Please don't, don't give up, okay? Don't give up. Spirit's not letting me let you give up. Spirit's like saying, please encourage pile number two because it is very tough. All right, let me see what cards want to come out out of this deck. Pile number two. Encouragement for pile number two as far as pregnancy. Pile number two, encouragement for you. You have, I make the perfect decisions for my body, for my baby. Do I paint the baby's room blue or yellow? Do I buy the cloth diaper or that one? Will I send my kids to school or will I homeschool? The choices of motherhood are endless and overwhelming at times. Take it day by day, one decision at a time. Do your research and talk to others, but ultimately trust your gut. This is your motherhood journey and this is your child to be. Each child to be is different and mama knows best. You know what this is saying? I'm getting knowledge, I'm getting trust, and I'm getting research. And that's exactly what I was saying. There is help out there for you. Please reach out for it. Please do. There are people who know what they're doing and who have uh, you know, seen progress in, in parents. You know, Whether you have a diagnosis or something is wrong, um, something is not, I want to say wrong, but something is a little bit off Inter internally, maybe we need assistance. Hey, don't knock it till you try it. I've been there. Uh, maybe there's something that's a little off. Maybe there's something that's not working right. How can we get it to work again? Whatever the case is, there's help for it. Okay, friend, please, please, please reach out for help. And it doesn't make you less of a man or a woman if you do. Um, I've learned that the hard way. <laughs> um, and, you know, time is ticking. And so, Spirit's saying, please don't give up. Please don't. 
What, what message wants to come through from your angels? This is my Angel Heart Messages Oracle. It goes great with my Winter's Embrace Oracle. It's for also for sale in my Etsy and eBay shops. What encouragement can I give to you? Authenticity. 1111. Your angels are motivating you to embrace your truth. So we got truth twice. Improvements are necessary. Be the change you want to see in yourself. So maybe you need to make some improvements. Like I said, what's not working, what's working. Okay, another message from your from your angels. Angel lights. Pay attention to the synchronicities around you. You also have that here. Twinkling, twinkling lights here. You got the embers here in the fire. Call upon the angels. See, ask for help. And know that you are a wonderful person. And you're going to get exactly what you've been wanting. If you love and value yourself. If you take it a step further. If you ask for the help that you're needing. Okay, friend? Thank you so much. I hope that you are well. I hope that you uh, this propels you forward into your baby-making journey. Let me know how it unfolds for you. This potential here. You just have to do some tweaking, uh, fine-tuning, researching. Uh, calling upon, asking questions, and all that fun stuff. Act like the Page of Swords. Be very nosy. This is your body. This is your body. We need to figure out what's going on with your body and how to make it work the right way. Okay, friend? So send you mega love, and I send you mega baby dust as well. Take care. I'm going to head on to Pile 3 if you want to join me over there. Pile 3, this is your, your stack here. Thank you so much. Send you mega, mega <sighs> energy to get this, get through this. All right, pile number three, thank you so much. You chose the pink power. You chose pink power. All right, we're make, making an incense in the piles over here. So pile number, oh, one wants to come out for you. Oh boy. Okay, pile number three, you have work. Work your passion. Pile number three, is there pregnancy on the horizon for you? Pile number three. Pile number three, is there pregnancy on the horizon for you? Pile number three, is there pregnancy on the horizon for you? Pile number three, is there pregnancy on the horizon for you? Pile number three, is there pregnancy on the horizon for you? Pile three, is there pregnancy on the horizon for you? All right, friends. This is telling me, look, you have work, work behind the scenes, putting more effort into something, investing, putting more effort, putting more tangible effort into something. Look, this is saying stand your ground. So you, this tells me that you're almost there. Don't give up. There's growth here. There's potential. Don't give up. Don't give up. You're almost there. You're almost there. You're almost there. You're almost there. Invest more time or effort. Maybe you need to, uh, you know, consult a specialist. Maybe you need to um, consult an ovulation tracker. Maybe you need to invest in your body more. Maybe you need to put some good, healthy, nutritionist uh, food or supplements in your body. I'm not a healthcare provider, healthcare practitioner. I'm just talking from, you know, female experience um, to another female. If the, if you are one. Or if you're looking for your spouse, maybe you're, you're, you're a male or another female, I'm just saying from my personal experience, maybe you're needing to up the game when it comes to what you're putting in your body because there, there is potential for growth and we want those acorns to grow right. What can you do? What can you do? Work your passion, invest, grow your prosperity, grow and growth. Look at that. It's here twice. Stand your ground. See, there's something here. It's saying to root yourself, to root yourself, center yourself. Don't give up. Don't take the saw and chop the tree after it's fully grown here. It wants to continue growing. Keep on going, friend. All right, pile number three. Encouragement for you. It's, it's saying to, to get things in order. Opportunity. Oh, see, there's potential. There you go. Your angels are preparing you for a life filled with abundance. So you have prosperity, you have abundance. Abundance and growth is the, em is the empress energy coming through. Abundance. If you look up the empress, she signifies growth, expansion, creation, abundance, of course, feminine power, earthy, tangible energy, and that's what we have here. And she does have a tree in her picture, in the empress's picture. Your angels are preparing you for a life full filled with abundance, wealth, there's your prosperity, future endeavors, and exciting new experiences. This is a full, this is a page coming through. Something very youthful coming through. You know what that is. All right, let's see. To finalize this, what, what other message from Angel one, wants to come through to help you encourage and stay on the path. Be encouraged and stay on your path. Homework, okay. So you have work. Now you have homework. What is it that you need to do? Your angels are always with you. 
What does that mean for you? What does that mean? You have family. And sharing makes everything fun. Oh, snap. So it's saying to work. What? Look, it's saying no need to worry. Hold on. No need to worry. Say a prayer. Step at a time. One step at a time. Listen closely and you'll hear messages. You'll hear notifications. I don't know, from your computer. Look at that. It's saying no worries, my friend. It's on the horizon. You have work and now you have homework. Okay? It just says you need to do more research. You need to... Uh, seek help if you need to say a prayer manifest say it out to uh, reach out to to the angels to the universe and manifest this make it happen this is all in your your energy all in your power you're growing you're, you're something about she was expanding it could be your womb your uterus your money maybe you're needing to invest in um you know procedures if you need to all right, that's what I have for you. Thank you so much, pile number three. We're going to continue on with these other piles. If you want to continue watching, I would love it. Thank you so much, and yeah, let's, let's get going. This is my Angel Hearts Messages Oracle, if you're interested, and my, um, my Winter's Embrace Oracle, which goes great with the Angel Hearts. If you're interested, I'll have everything linked below. Thank you so much for letting me plug that in. And let's continue on with the show. Let's get the show on the road. All right, so for you, pile number four... Let's get this started. Pile number four, we have Teddy Bear Wisdom here coming at you from my shop also. Etsy, eBay, and Instagram has them. Is there pregnancy on the horizon for you, pile number four? Pile number four, is there pregnancy on the horizon for you? Find a reason to smile. Stand up for yourself. You might want to check out pile number th three. Okay. So you might want to check out pound number three only because um, pound number three had about someone walking in a shoe, someone standing up for themselves, uh, and you have it here. Stand up for yourself. Um, so yeah, check out pound number three and see if that resonates for you. Find a reason to smile. Stand up for yourself. Yeah, I feel that there's going to be a reason for you to celebrate. Is there pregnancy on the horizon? Yes. Tie up loose ends. I don't know. For some of you, maybe you were using... Uh, um, contraceptives and you it was blocking you blocking <clears throat> the two things coming together to make this baby maybe there's some kind of blockage that you should get checked or see if you can reverse not sure how that pertains to your story focus on the here and now so now it's saying now is the time now is the time for you to get something rolling get something started Operate from a higher frequency. It's time to get your mood right. It's time to get your body right, your mind right. Because uh, things about are about to change here. The energy is shifting here. Messages from, from Angel. Any more messages? This is my Angel Hearts message oracle. <clears throat> okay, marriage. So marriage. Okay, so look. This is telling me for you, for you friends, you might need to... Commit to this. Commit to it. If you're saying yes, I'll try for a month, and then you're not trying for six months. Then you're trying again for one, two months, and then you're saying no for a year. It's saying to stay consistent, married to this idea of you wanting to have a baby. Stick with it. Stick with it. You're almost there. Pile number four. Angel 4633, your angels are working with you to maintain calmness, respect, and patience for a healthy, long-lasting dot 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 pregnancy marriage uh successful healthy journey for a, 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 a baby right so you are on your way stay committed stay consistent keep on nurturing yourself nourishing yourself um you yeah it's it's on the way it's on the way oh gosh hold on you have love and value yourself yes there you go maybe there's some things you need to change in your life to help welcome this in if you're thinking negative all the time, if you're drinking coffee all day long and soda all day long, um, reconsider one step at a time. See, we have one step and it says stand. And then we have the shoe in pile number three. So go see what that means. Let's see, let's see what other cards I can pull for you for encouragement, pile number four. Hold on. There's a reason why these came out like that. So you have, 
I choose nutritious foods. I just said it. Maybe there's something you need to do to your body to get you on the right track. Maybe you need to consider nutrition. Consider healthier choices. It's saying healthy, healthy. I handle everything beautifully. So health, physical health and mental health is of importance here. That is what the bottom line is. Something about your health. I'm not a healthcare practitioner. But speaking, I'm just telling you what the cards are saying, what I'm reading here. Um, consult your healthcare provider to see what the best uh, option and lifestyle for you when it comes to health and nutrition. But it's saying the factors could be your mind is not right and your body it needs a little tweaking and needs a little improvement. And there you go, friend. Okay, then you can be on your way. That's what I have for you. Thank you for letting me read for you. We're going to step into part number five's message. I wish you luck on your baby making journey. Let me know how it unfolds for you. And don't forget, like, this is not set in stone. We can make this a better outcome. If you don't like what the cards are saying right now, you can totally make it better. You can totally uh, make changes. You can totally keep things the same. Whatever you wish, okay, friend? You're the master of your uterus. You're the master of your ship. All right, thank you for watching. And I'm going to head on to pile number five's message you have a wonderful rest of your day pile number four hello pile number four hello thank you so much for choosing i'm sorry pile number five pile number five so let me stand corrected i correct myself pile number five is a pregnancy on the horizon for you pile number five pile number five is a pregnancy on the horizon for you pile number five pile number five is a pregnancy on the horizon pile number five message you have celebration Moving on, is the pregnancy on the horizon for you? Ooh. Okay. I like this a lot. So, pot number five, we're using the sweet love by Mystic Star Magic. I'll, ha I'll have her tagged here. This is her oracle, it's on her shop. I think she's sold out, but she's, I I'm gonna assume that she's gonna bring in more. So you have celebration, this is a big fight, yes. Moving on, yes, now that you accomplished your goal to becoming a pregnant person, or your person becoming pregnant, it's a big fight, yes, let's move on with this. Third party, yes, two become, two coming together, two ingredients making another baby. I mean, I'm sorry, two people coming together to make another being this third party so mother father or mother mother father father and you created something or this can say watch out you might have multiples you have the home your uterus all right crossroad it's in the works they're traveling down the fallopian tube that's what i'm saying two wine glasses coming together to make this big fat heart bump all right i say yes this pregnancy potential for pregnancy on the horizon for you pound number four i'm sorry five 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 Pound number five, pound number five. Birth is unpredictable. There is no manual on how it'll unfold. Instead, you get to trust the process and embrace each moment. I can navigate the unexpected if need be. So you have two navigation cards here, which tells me that something is moving along. Crossroads, something is in the work, something's moving. Something's traveling, okay? Something's coming towards you when it comes to what you're looking for in the baby department, okay? Let's see, angels, me other messages from your angels. Tell me what you would like me to tell Pyro number five for encouragement. This is my angel heart messages if you're interested. I have it for sale on my Etsy, eBay, and Instagram shops. Mission, all right, mission complete, mission possible. Your angels are encouraging you to focus your time and effort on your spiritual practice. Avoid things that deplete your energy. Your help is needed by what? By your baby, by, your, by many, by your loved ones. All right, so this, this is something that's very important and Spirit's saying pay attention. Now is the time to make changes. Make a wish. I feel this is your wish coming true, pile number five. Whatever you've been looking for, it's here. Pile number five, encouragement for your baby making journey. You're on the right, pa on the right path, that's right. Call upon your angels. Dreams, oh, there you go. Dreams coming true, I just said it quiet time this is saying now eat healthy food okay what well, like I said with pile number five or four you might want to consider um, healthier options for your body so now is the time to be very very still don't do anything too strenuous nothing too chaotic or stressful now is the time for you to grow that baby 
and there's potential for you to become pregnant so now is the time you have to act as if because it's coming very very soon the airplane is here you got the boats here all right i like this energy up in the space the rocket ships up there it's moving right along that's what i have for you thank you so much for letting me read for you i hope that this brings you well and wellness and i hope this brings you love and baby making energy okay you got this pile number five let me know how it all unfolds for you trust the process trust the journey trust the feelings every little moment write it in your journal write every little symptom you're feeling everything even pre-pregnancy take care i'll see you next time i'm gonna head on to pile number sixes awesome pile which is right here take care and let's keep going let's keep rolling all right, pile number six. Pile number six, thank you so much for your awesome time. You chose this hot fudge love oracle. This is on self-care. This is on reading energy, good energy. Like what can, what can you do to improve yourself, your relationships? Also, what can you do to improve self, um, your health, your mental state? How can you love on yourself? Let's see. Is there pregnancy on the horizon for you, pile number six? Final pile. Is there pregnancy on the horizon for you, pile number six? Oh, snap. Pile number six. Is there pregnancy on the horizon for you? All right. So this is telling me Wish good luck. Look at that. This is good luck on you, okay? Look, good luck on your horizon. There is pregnancy on the horizon, okay, friend? There is some kind of blessing here, some kind of new beginning, new journey. Pour into the one you love. This is like saying you're going to feel that outpour of love once you find out the news. And this could also say the ingredients are coming together in how they should, if you know what I'm saying. How they should. I'm trying to focus better. Can this focus? I hope this can focus. I hope this can focus. All right. The ingredients are coming together. Things are how they should look um, when it comes to how things are coming together in the body. Um, don't you worry. It's on the horizon. Okay, friend? Make sure it's zooming in. Okay. Pile number six. What encouraging words can I give to you courtesy of yourself, your higher self? I walk with the billions of mamas who have birthed before me. See, there's your confirmation, friend. It's on the horizon here. It's just going to get sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. Things are going to flow from you to you, around you. You're going to be stepping into abundance. I'm getting the Empress energy here. Play. You're going to have a fun time getting to know your body and seeing how it grows. Getting to know what's inside of your body. Uh, get, look, there you go. Getting to know the one you love. Being gentle. So now it's, now it's time for you to be gentle with your body. Be gentle with what you're putting into your body. Be gentle with what you're surrounding yourself with who you're surrounding yourself with what you're putting around you what situations you're putting yourself in now is the time to act as if discipline there you go you're being called to assert yourself and take initiative you're stepping into your power and authority yeah authority as what as the empress or the emperor there you go what other messages want to come through for you pile number six And you're gonna have, you might have multiples. This might be a surprise baby. You might not even wanna know what the genders are. You might have some nice uh, surprise baby showers. Spend time with pets. So get to know the one you love. Pour into the one you love. Spend time with pets. Spend, spend time with your loved ones who are still wanting to be there around you. Your friends. Don't let others make you feel bad for wanting what you want. Drink fresh water. See, time to make some changes. Artwork, time to get busy. Time to get into your crafts and your hobbies. Everything will be all right. Everything will be okay. Whom do you enjoy being with? It's saying to spend time with your loved ones. Because although you might get lost in pregnancy, you still have other people who want to be with you, who want to be around you, who appreciate you. That's what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. This is my Angel Heart Messages Oracle. If you're interested in my Hot Fudge Love Oracle, if you're interested, I have all the decks in my Etsy, my eBay, and I also sell them on Instagram, TikTok, I'm sorry, Instagram and Cash Up. Catch up and PayPal if you're interested in that. Uh, reach out to me on Instagram at VLoveCrystals. Take care and thank you so much. I wish you well on your baby making journey and let me know how it all unfolds for you. Bye bye.